at the storage unit on a Sunday after church. We are here actually earlier than we usually are, but it's only two o'clock in the afternoon. We've only had four items that sold. Again, it is not eBay's fault. It's not the slumber slowdown. It's not anything like that. It's us. We are not listing on eBay. Prior to leaving for a longer trip, we actually slow our eBay store down purposefully. Uh, so, it, because we have so much to do when it comes to the YouTube side of things. You know, again, we have like two different type of businesses here. We have a reselling business and a content creation business. So we then focus on the content creation instead of the, um, the selling part of it, because when we get back, we'll have to sell a ton of stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So eBay will be ramped up when we get back, but we kind of slow it down on purpose just so we can make sure we have all the videos that we need. So, uh, but we do have some really good sales. A Hummel sold that's in this box. It is a treehouse. Homoscape, I'll go ahead and uh, put it up what it looks like, a picture of it. $75 plus shipping. This is a butt to an older gun. So for $70.40 plus shipping, this is a C belt buckle. 10 bucks plus shipping. And then a floor nailer that I sold for parts. It's gaskets are bad in it. I did hook it up to an air compressor and it has bad gaskets this thing's leaking there's some stuff going on with it so if it was in really good condition i were to rebuild it you would probably get a hundred dollars for it uh, i sold it for 25 plus shipping for parts and this is where it always comes down to a lot of our comments also in these channels is you know oh you could do this and then fix it and stuff like that a lot of times it comes down to time right mm -hmm. you know is it worth the time you know how long is it going to take me to redo this probably more than an hour probably you know you got to buy the parts then do it hour or two I'm not very good at little things like this. Next thing you know, I break an O-ring. I'm at two hours or three hours. Next thing you know, I'm making $5 an hour fixing a Bosch little thing or just sell for $25 parts and let somebody else do it. So that's what we usually do. Um, what we're going to go home is go ahead, pack this stuff up, ship it out. We have a busy day. We're going to take you all along this week as we get ready for the 127. You probably already saw the yes getting the Jeep ready. We still have a ton of stuff to do for that, right? Mm -hmm. We still got bags coming in for tires and other storage things. And uh, again, we have not been on whatnot a lot either. We had a couple questions about that. We will be on whatnot when we get back from these uh, this trip, correct? Mm -hmm. So we'll have another jewelry show most likely. Then we'll have all type of show and everything like that. But we're not quitting whatnot. That is not in the cards. Uh, right now, we just took a break from it so we can get this stuff ready. So I just want to talk about this. If you do see stuff that you like, like somebody, I forget, but we're talking about job, uh, what would you call it? Job descriptions? Yeah. We get this question a lot. But if you do see something you like, message us on our website. Now, our website has two ways to contact us. One is our email, one is the messages. Please do not do the email. It goes straight in the junk file and we never actually look at it. And I'm gonna try to edit that too. Yeah, we're trying to get that where it doesn't go in the junk file, it doesn't make any sense. But we also get this question a lot and, the, and, uh, and it's actually a really good question. How do you guys separate the tasks to get things done? I did another video the other day about teamwork is the dream work, right? I said we do everything together, which is true when it comes to filming and YouTube and stuff like that. But there is certain things that have to get done that we can't do together, mm -hmm. right? Like me and you can't be side by side listing things and stuff. That's just not going to happen, right? Mm -hmm. So we actually do have like little job descriptors. Uh, I do 100% YouTube. Obviously, you're, you're the camera person sure. for most of it. And, uh, but I, you know, when it comes to batteries, SD cards, deleting, uh, making sure everything is properly ready to go when it comes to camera gear, uh, filming, most of, you know, on the, on the chest mounts, and then also like editing, posting, and all comments on YouTube, on both channels, me, and then I do about 90% of eBay. So listings, messages on eBay, and packing. You do a lot of the packing also. Uh, that That's kind of like 50-50. It all depends on who's busier and who, you know, like this stuff, easy to pack. So, uh, but then we have other things, obviously. We have multiple streams of income, which I think is so important. And I think it's actually so important that we have multiple ways to film things. If Goodwills aren't doing that good, we can always do storage units and stuff like that on the Beer Thrift Machine channel and still get inventory. But like with you, you actually, while we want the messages, you read all the messages that come through the website. Kayla is, she, if it comes straight to me, she'll like, you know, read it to me and then we'll message back about, you know, what the answer is and everything. But she reads, she goes through all the messages that has to do with everything else other than eBay and YouTube, which is a ton. You do 100% of the booth. You make sure the booth is good to go. You make sure that our website is up and running, your pot charms, all of the merch has been handmade by you. You also get more ideas. So there are definitely like, 
separations there. Not everything. We don't hold each other's hand throughout the day. Sure. Right? Oh, yeah. But definitely uh, teamwork is the dream work. Like right here, we got to pull this stuff, make sure everything, and we remind each other things. But we definitely have certain things that have to get done that one is over the other one. Like, okay, I'm over YouTube. I got to get video out. You're over the booth. You got to get the tags in. So that's how we separate it out. And it seems to work out really well. Now, if the other person needs help, like, hey, I need help packing because I have this to do. Obviously, the other person helps them out. So right. that just is a little glimpse into the business. Also, here's another glimpse. We got a lot of stuff in here. And why is Lisa and Linda still crying? <laughs> Next day here, and what we're gonna do today is pick up the tags, and then we're also going to stock the booth full of everything because we're gonna be gone for, again, a while, so we want it to be actually over full. Let's go in there, pick tags up, and see how much room we actually have. All right, this is the booth prior to us getting stuff in it. The, still got a whole bunch of stuff here, obviously, but back in here, we got tons of room. Just tons and tons and tons. I mean, this is a big empty spot right there. Got our merch little corner still. We probably need to get some more of that. But other than that, it's pretty empty. I'm really surprised these guys haven't sold. We might actually lower those a little bit. And then this over here is almost completely empty. We still have this guy. I'm really surprised. So we got all the tags and we have some really cool stuff going in the booth. Everything right here is hopefully going to fit in the booth. And Kayla is like a Tetris queen when it comes to the booth, aren't you? I try. You can definitely fit all this stuff in there like i said it's going to be super super packed right now it is kind of empty but we're going to go ahead there is a wagon under here the strategy for the jeep is definitely taking the seats out right it has like double the space in here you wouldn't realize how much you know seats take up a lot of space i guess but we got a lot of stuff to do we're gonna it's not that interesting we're just gonna go ahead move this stuff into bounty hunters emporium look it's kayla in her natural habitat <laughs> getting stuff done in the booth A Hummel figurine, eight dollars. That's nice. Oh, you're gonna like sprinkle them in there? That's a solid idea. Hold on, I got another one here. What's this guy doing? Oh, it's a girl. Got a rose. There you go. Oh wow, this is your little vintage corner. Look at that. I wouldn't even call it a corner. It's more like a like a stepping time. It's like stepping back in time. Get it? With the ladder. <laughs> I see, what you did there. I see what you did there. Yeah. What's the one thing you're gonna put on top of the ladder? The lunchbox? Oh yeah. Tilt it a little bit so when people can see it. Oh, that's nice. I like it. Solid choice. I would pick the uh, one of those guys back there. That's who I would pick. Probably that guy. What Kayla's doing right now is taking pictures because we have learned from y'all, take pictures of the booth so you know exactly how much room you have left, obviously, to put stuff, and then what sells is very easy. And then uh, this is it. Looking pretty good. That fish, that fish is looking at you. Somebody was interested in that. I'll have to oh, yeah? When I come back. Hopefully, we do that. At storage unit, we got some sales to go over. We sold a little box. It is a musical box for $25 plus shipping. Then we sold a kids uh, tailor made. When it comes to like kids irons, like adult irons is like you know one two three four five six seven eight nine pitcher wedge and stuff like that. A lot of times in when it comes to youth irons, they'll have something that looks like that five through six, and that just means this can be used as a five or six iron. So when you see that, that's how you look it up. Their woods are kind of like the same thing. They'll have like a driver through three wood five wood through seven wood because they're just learning how to hit the ball so they don't need all the confusion of like a lie isn't going to matter a whole bunch different degrees they're just learning the swing as it you know what i'm saying 18 bucks for that not bad then we did have our first doesn't say your name but i know that you watch the channel so thank you so much the salad master six quart with the top and the lid uh 60 bucks that's a good deal. That was actually a really, really good deal on the Salad Master. So thank you so much. $15 for another US Kids. These a couple years ago were selling like hotcakes. Not so much anymore. I mean, they still sell really well if you get the newer ones, but they're not selling as well as they did like four years ago. But US Kids Golf is still a good brand to look out for. You might want to look it up though. A very nice DeWalt grinder here with the paddle tester thing, Majiggy. 30 bucks plus shipping. And this bag right here are some Wrangler blue jeans. And then the same person bought the Wrangler blue jeans, bought this really neat casserole dish. Check that out. 
That is neat. That thing is very nice. And then the same person that bought that bought this. Billy Joe. Billy Joe. So we do appreciate all the sales. Uh, like I said, we have not listed probably now in eight or nine days on eBay. We've just been super busy. Time management is another big thing. So in these videos, we talked about teamwork. Mm -hmm. We talked about dividing up the jobs that we do with one another. And then also time management is huge because when you're running multiple businesses, like we have a basically a social media business and a reselling business, and we like to get one more, right? Multiple streams of income also, oh, yeah. yeah, multiple streams of income is like great. Like the booth, we went over stock the booth, that'll be a little bit of money coming in, eBay, a little bit of money, and all these little things kind of add up at the end of the month. But you have to have your time management down because if you don't, things will get away from you. Like, like little things just start to like your mind will wander. The next thing you know, it's been an hour. And you can get a lot done in an hour if you're focused. So a little food for thought. But this is the end of today. Mm -hmm. We just got to pack this stuff up, ship it out. Uh, the booth is done. We're making it. We made a huge checklist and we're checking it twice. Kind of like Santa Claus. And uh, today, this is the end of that. We did get some stuff in for the Jeep. And then also tomorrow, we're going to have to go buy a whole bunch of stuff for like the back basket, the straps, and we'll take you all along on that, but that'll be a different video. So we do appreciate everybody watching. Remember, we have a lot of people that watch the channel that's not subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. It is free. We'll see you in the next one.